talk about future shadows, we need to go current shadows. So let's calculate them right now. My GP model runs a Python script for creating sun positions, sends those points and parallel rays through the skyline tools, and creates shadow volumes. And we also add an attribute saying what hour of the day that shadow represents. So here's the results at 11 o'clock in the middle of winter. And we can step through and see how that shadow is going to move through the day. Or we can look at all of our results at once. We go back to the hourly view, turn on the planned buildings and their shadows. We can step back through the day and see how it's going to change with this new construction. So seeing this is very helpful and useful, but 3D GIS is more than just seeing the data, it's also about understanding it. So we can summarize the impact at the building level. So we can identify the buildings and the residents. We're going to have some cases up to three extra hours of shadow in this construction. And we can send them a letter and let them know about it before it happens. So city scale uh, analysis is important. But it's also important at a single building level. So here it is, the KPN building. It's in a great location. And if we step through the day, we can see that right now it doesn't get very much shadow. 